Okay, Shalom, Shalom. Kwam Yashala, Koloim La, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweshai, Bahashim Rekha Kodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, the great millstone who rule well, and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. And just want to say the water to all the Akiyam and Nakwaf, that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, to the best of their ability. This is Shah Hanan Nawaf just coming at you with another um, quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And just um, pretty much some exhortment or um, some encouragement to keep moving. You got to keep going. You know, we're going to have battles. We're going to have things come up that's going to, you know, kind of want to, you know, throw your attention somewhere else. But you got to continue on fighting and stand on this truth, man, you know, and use the scriptures to do so. Because you have to understand and keep in mind that the Lord is in control of all things. He's in control of every single situation, man. So I wanted to start with this Lamentations 3 and 37, and I'm going to grab some some precepts off of that just to prove that you know because when you get in this mindset right here it, it, it's a shield it's a buckler it, it, you know it's it's a protection you know what i'm saying so to speak you know because like i said again you know satan be coming from all directions man he's coming from every angle from your family members to a damn ailment to uh something happening at a damn job or you know something going on with your your, your family or you know, whatever the case may be, a damn, you know, car breakdown, whatever, man. He's coming at you from all different angles. But just know that the scriptures talks about um, no weapon form shall prosper, you know. But this is Lamentations 3 and 37. It says, who is he that said, and it cometh to pass when the Lord commanded it not, right? If the Lord didn't command it, then, you know, <laughs> no one's making no moves without the Lord, man. No one is just out here just doing what they want to do. And that goes in, that goes for Satan as well. You know, you go into the book of Job, you can clearly see that Satan had no power to do what he wanted to do to Job. He could only do what the Lord told him he could do. That was it, man. So let's get a few of these precepts right here. Um, they have uh, Psalms 33, 9 through 11. And it reads, for he spake. And it was done. He commanded, and it stood fast. The Lord Yahweh bringeth it. The Lord Yahweh bringeth the counsel of the heathen to naught. He maketh the devices of the people of none effect. The counsel of Yahweh standeth forever. The thoughts of his heart to all generations. So you can clearly see the Lord is in control, man. Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, he can't bring no devices against us that the Lord is, you know, don't want to, you know, be brought against us. He can't just make anything happen. He can't just do what he wants to do. See, he's in a trick bag. He doesn't understand that he's under the control of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. He actually thinks that it's through his wisdom, through his knowledge and understanding that he's, you know, what he would say prosperous. He has no idea that the, what he's calling prosperous is actually death. So let's get another one. Proverbs 16 and 9. A man's heart deviseth his way, but the Lord Yahweh directeth his steps. See? And also they got um um well they don't have it in here, but Proverbs 20 and 24 it talks about how man's goings of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? So the Lord is in control, man, of your day, your night, <laughs> the seasons, you you name it, man. It's nothing that he's not in control of. So you know, take that worry out of your mind. Take that um because that wor that worrying is getting you know is not going to get you anywhere because it, it goes against the scriptures you know what i'm saying the scriptures are going to stand stand on the scriptures stand on this truth man let's get another one proverbs 19 and 21 there are many devices in a man's heart nevertheless the counsel of yahweh that shall stand you, know, you got people they, they can think what they want to think but if the lord don't want their plans to come to pass it's not going to come to pass if the Lord don't want you to go to work, you're not going to work. <laughs> if the Lord don't want you to go on your vacation, you're not going on your vacation. You know? The Lord can, 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 can you know, do anything at any point in the game. That's what that 2 Samuel, um, no, was it 2 Samuel? Uh, 1 Samuel, chapter 2, verse 6 and 7, talks about how the Lord killeth, he maketh alive, he bringeth down to the grave, he bringeth up, he maketh rich, he maketh poor, roughly paraphrasing. So everything that you see going on around you, the Lord is in control of that. He's in control of all situations, and he can turn your situation around like that. Milliseconds, man. 
where you can blink your eye. You looking up like, well, what happened? What, what, where did that? And this is how you're going to have to believe, too, in these last days. Because things are going to get rough. But we're going to know that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is in control. That's very, very, very important to know in these last days. You got to be steadfast on those thoughts of the Lord is in control. The Lord is in control. You might be in the back of a van headed to damn prison or FEMA camp or whatever the case, you know, might be just laying there. You know what I'm saying? With the guillotine above your damn head. You still going to have to know that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is in control. See, these little rough rides with these little things that we go through, you know, they're actually um, faith builders. Because as we go through troubles, we see the salvation of the Lord every single time. And as we see more and more salvations, more and more salvations, we, we understand and see that the Lord is in control and that he he brought us out again. <laughs> I mean, it happens over. Think about from from way back when you was a child all the way up to your, your adulthood or whatever age you are. The Lord has always been there. He's he's always, you know, had his angel um, 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 encamping upon you, you know, so to speak. So there's nothing that Satan can do about that. There's nothing that Esau, Edom, the so-called white man can do about that, man. He, he can't stop what's coming, man. He can't stop the salvation of the children of Israel or the elect of um, Israel, man. He can't stop it, though he's going to try. But everything that he's going to be doing is going to be all from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh side. He has no power at all. Proverbs 21 and 30. There is no wisdom, nor understanding, nor counsel against the Lord. And you got Esau, this guy got a space force. He really think that he's about to go out here and really be able to buck with the Lord, man. That shows you the type of power the Lord has. That the Lord got him in such a trick bag. The Lord didn't actually place in their heart a, a feral type of spirit, you know, to buck up against him. Only to, you know, to be put to shame. To show the Lord's power and, and put, um, you know, an enhancement on his name, so to speak. You know? When the world sees the fall of Babylon, the great good old America, they're not going to believe their fucking eyes, man. And they're going to know who done it. Right? Let me get that back again. It says, there is no wisdom, nor understanding, nor counsel against the Lord. So guess what? <laughs> the all-knowing is, is in, in power. So, so cut the worrying out, man. Cut that bullshit out. Clip all that. Get that out of your mind immediately. Soon as something pops up. What was that? Uh, Isaiah 46 and 10. Declaring. Matter of fact, I may have to go into this a little bit more. But let's just get it. Declaring the end from the beginning. And from ancient times to things that are not yet done. Saying, my counsel shall stand. And I will do all my pleasure. That's your how about Shemia was side, man. He declares the end from the beginning, man. We're talking about a power that created everything that you can actually see around you. I know we take that for granted sometimes. But that that's a, you know, it's actually. I mean, me speaking as a man, I, I think he actually protected us <laughs> in a sense in these mortal bodies. If you if the Lord. Open you up like that, man, and, 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 and you you were able to see. The elements or just to just see into the spirit, the spiritual realm that's around you. It, it will, it, you know, that it it, 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 will, it will blow your mind, man. It, it, it'll probably, you know, make your ass disintegrate or something. The Lord is, you know, the scripture talks about how his, um, his understanding is infinite. The Lord has infinite understanding. I mean, I mean, Read through the book of Job, you know, some it's so many books you can read through, you know, even in the book of Psalms, giving you all the wonders of the Lord, man, his wondrous works, the works of his hand. It's amazing, man. It's amazing. Um, let's get Daniel 4 and 35. And all the inhabitants of the earth are reputed as nothing. And he doeth according to his will in the army of heaven. And among the inhabitants of the earth and none can stay his hand or say unto him, what doest thou? Who going who gonna ask, you know, who, who going to check the Lord? Like what you doing? Like as if you can do something about it. You can't you can't do nothing with the Lord, man. Yeah. How about me? I was sad. He is greatly to be praised. He's greatly to be worshipped. You know, and every knee shall bow, man. Esau out here really thinking that he's going to continue on ruling 
for another hundred to a thousand, whatever amount of years, man. He he really thinks that this place is gonna carry on, man. And it's not. Romans 9 and 15. I mentioned Pharaoh. It says, For he said, Romans 9 and 15, for he said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. And then it goes on to say he will harden basically who who he wants to harden. What do you think he done to Pharaoh? He could have easily, man, with, you know. He kept hardening Pharaoh's heart. He could have easily put it on Pharaoh and, and, and made him, even all the Egyptians. All the Egyptians, they was actually seeing his power. And they was like, man, hey, get rid of them Israelites, man. Let them people go. But the Lord kept hardening his heart. And it was for a reason. And there wasn't nothing he can do about it. Who can resist the will of the Lord? Because it's gonna, it goes on to say that in that chapter. But let's, let's um, get... Got two more here. Ephesians 1 and 11. In whom also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestinated according to the purpose of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will. It's not going to be your will. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it's by the, the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh that you go through what you do, you go through on a day to day basis. Your trials, your tribulations, your, your good times, your happy times. The smiles, the frowns, <laughs> you know, but you got to stay steadfast on these scriptures. You can't just, you know, well, I'll get up and throw it all out the window. No, these scriptures is real. The scriptures is true, man. This is the last one they have um, in the precept section. James 4, and 4, 13 through 15. Go to now, ye that say today or tomorrow, we will go into such a city and continue there a year and buy and sell and get gain. Whereas ye know not what shall be on the morrow. For what is your life? It is even a vapor that appeared for, for a little time and then vanisheth away. For that ye ought to say, if the Lord will, we shall live and do this or that. Why? Because if it's not the Lord's will, you're not going to do it. And this is very important right here. You know, I've, you know, I've been practicing on, you know, saying if it's the Lord's will, you know, when I'm, when I'm saying stuff. If it's the Lord's will, I'm going to do this or that. If it's the Lord's will, you know, I'm going to do this or that. You know, I'm not perfect at it, but it's definitely it's on my mind more, you know, to actually say that because you can't do nothing if it's not his will. And actually, it goes on. There uh, whether the, the story with the guy that was talking about, you know, tearing down his bars and tearing down his barns and building them back up. You know. The Lord said this day, matter of fact, let me see if I can find out what I was the end of the precepts on. Um, let me see if I can get it. I put in a couple of key words. I think this is the account right here in Luke. OK, so uh, let's see where to start here. Let's start right Let's start at verse 16 Luke 12 and 16 and He spake a parable unto them saying The ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentiful and he thought within himself. Now, this is Yahweh Shai speaking, um, you know, which the world equally calls Jesus. It's in red letter. And the Lord's name is Yahweh Shai, not Jesus, man. The true name of the Father is Yahweh, which means he exists or the existing one. And the true name of the Son is Yahweh Shai, which means he's the Savior or Deliverer in the Paleo-Hebrew. Can't stress that enough. Repetition, baby. Can't stress that enough because those names are highly, highly important. All that Jesus shit, that's an idol, man. It's idol worship. Anyway, let's 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 move on. Let me start back from verse twelve, Luke twelve and sixteen, and he and he spake a parable unto them, saying, "The ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentiful, plentifully." And he thought within himself, saying, "What shall I do? Because I have no room where to, no room where to bestow my fruits." And he said, "This will I do. See, this will I do." I will pull down my barns and build greater and there will and there will I bestow all my fruits and my goods 
And I would say to my soul, soul, thou hast much goods laid up for many years. Take thine ease, eat, drink, and be merry. But check out what the Lord said. But Yahweh, the Father, the Mosai, said unto him, thou fool. See, the Lord called him a fool. You a fool if you're thinking that you're just going to go out here and just do what you want to do. And, 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 and without the Lord's permission or if it's if, I'm telling you, if it's not his will, it's, it's, you can't do it. It's just it's impossible. You can't go against the Lord, man. That's that Edomite. That's that Esau Edomite spirit. When you just thinking that you can just do it, that do as thy will spirit. But Yahweh said unto him, thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. Then who shall those things be which thou hast provided? So is he that led up treasure for himself and is not rich towards Yahweh. See? And that goes off into, you know, Jake, they, they don't believe in, you know, Jake don't believe in Yahweh by Shimei Awashah. Two thirds, Jake. They just, they really, me, 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 me. I, 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 I done this. I done that. They won't even get up and thank the Lord. They act as if they, they, they breathe because they just want to breathe. They don't even fucking know what's going to happen to them in the next two to three seconds. It's amazing, bro. That's a very prideful spirit to, 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 you know, to not acknowledge that even if you don't believe in Yahweh, <laughs> you know, you, you have to under, you have to know how could you be so stupid as to how you're just breathing, you're talking, you're thinking, you're, you know, you're smelling, you're hearing, you, you know, all these different things that you can do. You just thinking that you woke up this morning and, and you gave yourself that power to do that. It's retarded, bro. But anyway, I just wanted to touch on this. Stay on these scriptures, man. Use the scriptures. When stuff comes up, use use the scriptures. Pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh man. You have to pray. You, you most definitely have to pray. And you have to have faith in what you're praying for. Don't be double-minded. Don't be wavering. Scriptures talks about that too. You know, think that you'll get think not that you'll get anything from the Lord, man. If you're doubtful. Here you go, you praying to him and you asking him for something. Then you're like, uh, well, he might do it. You know? The Lord wants all good things. The Lord wants all good things for uh, uh, his servants, man. And he ain't necessarily talking about, um, you know, you taking trips and fucking, you know, you riding in a damn Lamborghini. Or, you know, you know, I'm talking about... Your basic needs. The Lord, the scripture says that the Lord know what you need. He already know. So, you know, hey, pray to Yahweh about Shem Yahweh Shai, man, with that faith, man. Because scriptures also says that um, um, without faith, it's impossible to please Yahweh about Shem Yahweh Shai. I mean, that's even with regular humans, man. If a person, if you know a person don't have faith and you would kind of, you know, you, you just like, well, man, fuck you. What the fuck, you know, what are you, you know? <laughs> Why, why, why you keep bothering me if you don't believe in me? You know what I'm saying? Type of deal. If you don't believe that I'm going to do something, you know, it's a person walking up on you and they asking you for something or, or to do something for them. And you telling them, yeah, I got you. And, and, and they like, oh, man, I don't think I don't think you really. He can just keep, you know, you're like, well, I, what, what the fuck is you asking me for? Go ahead and handle your business, man. Do, do you know, try do your thing, you know? Oh, you got to come to the Lord, man, knowing that what you're asking for is going to be um, given. You know, so I'm going to end out there, man. I just, you know, was meditating on that and, you know, kind of went through some scriptures and. I just thought, hey, do a lesson to it. Hit, hit the record button, baby. That's what we, you know, exhortation, man. It, it goes a long ways because we're going to need the, this type of mindset. We're going to have to know when shit get rough. The Lord is in control. The Lord, that, that should be something that you should be saying on a day that the Lord is in control. A little shit pop up where well, the Lord is in control. You pray, a little quick prayer, Lord, well, you know this going on, this, that, and the, it ain't like he don't know. The Lord is in control. That's what the scripture talks about, casting your cares. Cast your cares to the Lord, man. You, 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 you'll you worry yourself, and it's nothing you can, you know, you, it's nothing you can do about it, so what the fuck is you worried about? <laughs> you know? Know that the Lord is in control. That that's something that should be st steadily on your mind. The Lord is in control. We're about to behead your ass. Well, all right. Well, the Lord is in control. We're gonna do this to you. We're gonna do that to you. All right. Well, if it's the Lord's will, then you're gonna be able to do it. 
the Lord Yahweh Shai didn't buck up against um, you know, um, the authorities when they called him up. He that was the will of the Father. Matter of fact, Yahweh Shai even um, you know, he was trying he prayed three times, you know, that you know, for that cup to be taken away from him, so to speak. And and you know, the father never answered him. So he was like, oh, you know, your will be done. <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm saying? He didn't buck up. He went through exactly what the Lord had written for him, man. He took, he took, he he done what he had to do, and and, and we had to do what we had to do, because we had to bear our cross as well. It's not gonna be a. He never said it's gonna be an easy fix, man. It ain't gonna be easy while we're here on this planet, man. We gotta go through it. So when the rewards really come, we're gonna really, really enjoy. I, you know, I pray that I'm a part of that, man. To just be able to, you know, like, wow. Yeah, we went through it, man. But we made it. That joy that, that we're going to have. You know, and like I said, again, I pray that I'm a part of that hopefully like, man. That joy. I can't even imagine that type of joy. Not in this type of, not in this flesh that we're in right now. But that it's going to be a joyful, joyful. Man, ain't no telling how loud it's going to be, man. When, 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 when the. When, when, when the men and women of, uh, of the Lord that, that were predestinated get to get together and just it's going to be a shout of joy. It's going to be like this cheering. You know, it's going to be, you know, um, Esau, they go to these football games, basketball games and niggas make a dunk or they make a touchdown or something. And the, and the whole crowd erupts and you got the decibels, you know, they, you, you see the little you, some people you see in there with the with the um, with them headphones, with, not headphones, but, you know, the, the ear coverings to keep from busting the goddamn eardrums. Man, that's going to be nothing compared to the joy and the shout of the children of Israel, man. That shit going to be heard throughout the, throughout the world, man. Hey, uh, hey, man, it's going to be a beautiful time. So that's what we're working towards. Keep that in mind. We're working towards that, man. Pray to Yahweh Bashim Yamashai. We'll have mercy on you. Keep you on track, man, and stay in the scriptures. That's all. You know, I, you know, I just wanted to just bring that out. So with that, pray that the lesson was edifying. Come yourself.